Good afternoon. Well, it wasn't the happiest of Fridays for the Australian share market. In fact, shares have fallen back now for nine of the past 12 days. Uh, we fell back by around a third of a percent today, and it means that we've had three consecutive weeks of falls as well. And uh, what's been fascinating about this week is that most of the drivers of the Australian share market have come from outside of the country. Uh, earlier in the week, we had uh, concerns about the political crisis in Italy. Uh, the focus now has shifted to uh, America deciding to impose tariffs on some of its allies, uh, namely the European Union, Mexico and also Canada. And now as far as the uh, economic impact, it uh, could be very much uh, quite modest, but there are concerns that other countries uh, will retaliate. We've already seen proof of that from countries like Canada earlier in the day. Uh, as far as Australia is concerned, it's not going to necessarily have a huge impact, but there are some stocks which could uh, be affected to an extent. Rio Tinto, for example, was one of the few mining stocks today to fall back. It dropped back by about half a percent. It does have an aluminium business that operates in Canada. Uh, elsewhere, Blue Scope Steel was a strong performer. It rose by about two and a half today. But outside of those uh, sectors, we had uh, the major banks struggling today. Uh, ANZ was down about one and a half on reports it could be facing some legal action over a share placement in 2015. Telstra, which was not only one of the worst performers in May, it's continuing to fall. So it's down about three quarters of a percent today, and it's still around the worst levels in, uh, in seven years as well. Energy stocks not feeling the love. They haven't for a while now. They've dropped back about um, half a percent today as a sector, but the oil price has fallen back about five percent this week. So that continues to be a weight, partly on concerns of additional supply hitting the market. Now elsewhere, there were some winners. Uh, Qantas and Air New Zealand, for example, jumped. Uh, they both agreed uh, on a code share announcement. Uh, basically, this should make domestic travel within both of those markets a little easier for both of those uh, uh, companies. Virgin not included in this, so its shares were down in the order of 2.2%. Now, looking ahead to tonight, plenty going on. The focus, though, will certainly be an update on employment, which will be out for the month of May, about uh, an hour ahead of the open of the US market. So that probably is going to be a bit of a driver of things in overnight trade. A very strong lift, for example, in employment could boost uh, the case for an interest rate hike in the the US and that's ahead of the Fed decision which is only a fortnight away. So that could also set the tone for our market next week. Next week the Reserve Bank decision on Tuesday, economic growth numbers on Wednesday, they'll be in focus. The Aussie dollar finally is at 75.3 US. Have a great weekend.